Hello friends, I'm Chi. Yeah, another great day, right? Yeah, today I'm gonna inform you guys of certain things happening, you know, uh, people who are obtaining some fake, fake uh, documents, you know, fake permits and the rest of them, even licenses to an extent. Yes, and also crazy things happening equally back home. Also in Ghana, you like to know what happened to this girl that got uh, Oh man, it's crazy when you hear what happened to this girl. All right, another things you know that will also thrill you blow your mind as usual with chi yeah if you're here for the first time why don't you subscribe because you get information like this i'll keep you informed updated thrill man yes with chi no darling yeah all right just do one thing click the subscribe button there it's free man all right and you who is watching me that soon subscribe thank you welcome on board with chi remember to spread the love on whatsapp facebook and also to my friends who have done that thank you very much i appreciate a lot because without you guys i won't be here at all doing this thing yeah you are the reason why i'm here thank you very much yes on a very hard note yeah in nigeria just um yesterday you know they said 2 a.m 2 30 whatever they said the time was midnight hours you know some some group of unknown gunmen struck the emo prison you know in nigeria the state called emo state yeah the prison located at Oweri. they struck that prison which has inmates of about 1,500, some say 2,000, but until now, we don't know how many were released. Most of them uh, were set free, <laughs> you know, just like they say, Paul and Silas, they prayed, they sang, and, uh, <laughs> and the prison door opened. Now, they prayed also there, and the prison door have opened for them. Now, they have escaped, and only God knows where they'll be heading to, maybe to Libya, oh, man, or to maybe to another African country, because to them, this is like freedom after many years in the prison they have escaped finally freedom for them but well do we suppose violence no but this has happened now even the people who secured the prison those prison warders and those soldiers that they kept there at the front they all escaped when they had the heavy gun duel you know those kind of gun that when it sound like this even you as a police officer will run for your life now they ran away because they said man this ninja thing is not our country man do you want to just die like that die for free no you know to serve nigeria is not by force so they have to run they run so these guys this unknown government after that went to the uh, state um, police headquarters you know their state CIA. they went there and looted their ammunition their guns you know their firepowers they looted it man this is crazy and at the end of the day they burnt their cars a lot of the police officers cars were burnt down i'm telling you these are real these are real so this is it who are these unknown gunmen for me i will say this you know these are guys who in the past the soldiers the police have killed either their brother their father their mother their friend and they are in pain so now what did they do they group themselves just to revenge they are saying hey even if we have to die for this one reason we have to revenge the dead of the innocent that were killed so the more you kill more innocent people the more you are aggravating the the issue more people are in pain they have to go and look for the esn or this unknown government to join them just to revenge the dead of their loved one because it's painful you just kill innocent people and you feel that uh, these guys will just be laughing over it no these are people's family people's friends people's cousins so this could lead into this even in the Boko Haram thing this way things are costed when you kill innocent people what do you expect these family members have to go and join them even give information out to these BH boys and that is why the issue is not ending anytime soon because people are angry people are angry that's why they now took to their um, and they have to take up ammunition just to revenge the death of their loved ones so if they should just um, or maintain the rule of engagement not by hurting the innocent ones but even if you want to attack attack those ones who you are going for the mission you know not when you just see anybody you just shoot and say hey you are Biafra you shoot the person down at least there's courts that can judge the matters or uh, don't, don't just kill innocent people just like that just hey you're a Biafra guy papa you shoot no this is not good you 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 make even the family of that person to go and join the unknown government or the or the ESN just to revenge these angry people you know and again instead of you going for the the headsmen in the past people have been crying lamenting they are raping their mothers their wives their their children have been killed kidnapped in the in their farmland in their own very farmland not in the bh or the um, bandits or fulani headsmen farmland in their own very state their farmland you go there you kill them you eat their crop instead of these security forces going after these people with those helicopter gunships whatever you know you're going for those ones who are trying to protect their people it's not fair. Then what happens to this bandit? That means you're giving them more courage to do these things. How many times will I say this thing? This is not fair at all. Now, even in the Onicha over the road, this unknown government struck again, burning down police, uh, the armies. Their cars were burned down. Man, 
things are happening things are happening even one of the soldiers were lying down there burnt you know that means they even poured fuel on that one and burnt him alive i don't know what happened so these are terrible things happening now the country is like um a serious threat of breaking up anytime soon man what do we do what do we do i would like to hear your reaction in abia state now they have put a curfew saying hey because this unknown government could shoot down at any point in time because i'm gonna say remove all roadblocks because the roadblocks of a thing is not uh, is not in the constitution you just put these roadblocks to intimidate people who are traveling and the rest of them you're not doing the real job so this is it so now <laughs> they are scared now because this unknown government shoots at any point in time nobody knows even as i'm talking now i don't even know where they're going to attack from even the non government i don't even know them but i know that these are angry people who have felt the pain of nigeria so please the government should do something and bring down the peace that was once there that lovely country you know that lovely country is now turning to something else well leaving that on that harder note let's come down to uh, italy now they are saying that another decreto aprile yeah another decreto like uh, historical sustainable yeah they said they'll, they'll be launching another one because this pandemic is not showing sign of leaving anytime soon even the lockdown planning to be extended even until the end of this month some are saying even may yeah so Please, don't go out, you know, before going out, you need this certificate uh, uh, to show where you're going and where you're coming from. Please, I have the link, I can send it to you so you can download the form and fill it up so that you not get motor. Motor is dangerous, especially you guys in the camp or out of camp who are about to renew document or get document. You need this document, to, uh, this certificate to protect yourself so that you don't get motor at all at all because it could be detrimental when you go to renew your document or go for your commission. They could see these things in your system, in your profile. So please, stay out. And um, please, if you need a lawyer immigration lawyer who's gonna help you out in appeal in any issue in Italy at all at all he's there to help you him and his team not only him he has his group of workers lawyers so even if you're coming back from Germany Spain France anywhere this guy could help you go back to the system you know uh, to the questora get you the six months uh, request a prize, all those kind of things he does these things so that is it please contact me if you need one all right now to the next one fake permits fake permits yes fake permits these are ongoing you know now this guy went to france to see a friend from there he contacted some people arabu guys you know who were like hey we can help you get driving license it's very easy here if only you can do this thing pay us this money we can give it give it to you so this guy agreed he paid them this money 1500 close to that man so they took him to a place where he wrote the exam these are all scams going on so they took him to this place where he wrote the exams everything came back continued his job here in italy Thinking that it was real, he has even forgotten about it, but what he saw shocked him, they sent him the driving license from France. Wow, with his name there, everything. This guy was like, wow, so this is real after all. Well, I don't know if they even took him to an office where he done printed. All these things, are they, are, they are all arranged, systematic crimes going on, you know. So now, this guy was happy about it. He took the uh, license to Prefettura so that it would be converted to Italian license. Well, what happened next shocked him. They called him in Questura. Tell, the police in, um, contacted him. Now, they gave him a letter. They served him a letter saying that this permit is fake. Now, this guy is under investigation and it's really confused what is going to happen to him next. This guy has never committed crime. And again, it's about to renew his document. He doesn't know whether he should go and renew it. He doesn't know what to do. And even the lawyer, is, he gave this um, letter that the police gave to him. Uh, he's not even responding. So this guy is really confused. He needs your help, your information. He's thinking, what should he do? Uh, what, what do you think that will happen to him? If you have any experience, please write in the comment section. He's really confused. So that is his story. So please stay away from people who just offer you uh, free kind of offers like that. Tell you it's easy. I can do it for you. I can do license for you. I can even make you get sojourn or some lawyers too, giving fake sojourn or uh, permesso de sojourn to people, taking them to fake offices to turn print. You know, all these things are the scams going on. So I think the police should um, not even catch the victims, but they should go for the people who are doing these things themselves. Because when you stop these people, then the crime will reduce. And also, some of you who are also working with... Uh, uh, autonomous you went and do autonomous and you think that this uh, commercialista you give him the money to go and pay the tax but he's not doing it at all he doesn't pay this money so when you go to renew your document that is where the problem is because i'll tell you where is the model law? now you don't have it you don't have the thing that shows that you have paid tax and you meet the commercialista he will tell you i forgot i forgot these are fake commercialista even sometimes the autonomous is fake it is not even properly registered so that is why when somebody do autonomous for you go to central Impiego or even to IMS and find out if that uh, autonomous whatever contract he made for you is active, is reading, even normal work contract. Go to Central Impiego, go to a, um, 
IMSS office and find out whether this document is still active, okay, before you get yourself into trouble. Now, in Lodi, that uh, place they call Lodi, yeah. So now they have found out they have arrested two people who are into these things, giving out fake work contracts to people. You know, they write contracts for them so that they can use and renew their documents and the rest of them. Questura is now finding out this thing. The police, they are now investigating hard. That is why even in Sicily region, people who use autonomous, they no longer want to renew their documents for them because they are thinking that these are all scams. They just want to do it and renew documents and they don't pay any tax. They go and cancel it later. So even a company, big companies owned by migrants, uh, this company now is under heavy investigation because now when they registered in the past they said okay for example they have a uh, 50 workers but after that upon investigation it was found out that they have more than that those workers so what do they do they write contracts for people so these people pay them the right contract so that they can use it to go and renew their documents so they are finding out these things so be careful italy don't want to hear you say you're buying contracts from anybody they don't want to hear it at all so please be careful about that okay when you are going to do these things just try to do the right thing get your real autonomy and pay the tax and be free from all these troubles because because when you got yourself into Questora, Questora is very deadly. They can frustrate you for many years in this issue. And sometimes you can even pay fines or go to jail. So please be careful, okay? So stay out of trouble. All right, now in Ghana, this girl, Sophia Haroon. Yeah, she's an actress, but what she said will, will shock you, man. So this girl, in an interview, yeah, this girl has everything, everything the behind the defenders. Yeah, but in this interview, where she granted, she said this, uh, this musician, Stone Boy, has been a guy that she has been longing to meet i'm telling you but now she said when she met this guy this guy just put in his hand on her shoulder kind of hugging her you know that way guys do it yeah now what happened she said she she, she released man <laughs> she got wet did you did you see it i did not see it myself i did not see but you know guys here you be wondering <laughs> have you ever seen that before guys 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 have you ever so this was what she said she released because the feeling she said she, the feeling was too much the sweetness man you know somebody have been dreaming to me guys you know you know how it feels even girls you know what i'm saying so this is what the girl said sophia room yes in ghana this ghana nice actress so she said <laughs> this Stoneboy guy made her do it <laughs> just by touch who knows what will happen when the real thing happens well no, well don't get it twisted don't get your right daddy okay i'm signing out remember to show me love that's the best you can do for g all right subscribe share to your friends on whatsapp facebook okay remember to press that bell that bell is very important if you're not getting notification unsubscribe and subscribe again and if you don't see me please check on my channel maybe i did a video but you no know, youtube did not give you notification let's see in the comment section you know how to do things there so crazy so buzzing yeah i'm signing out i'm chicha one love